lovelies and welcome back to another video. Everywhere I go, plant-based dripping. So in today's video, I want to talk about the metabolism and what happens when we restrict calories. So when we go on a diet and restrict calories, over time, our body begins to slow down our metabolism to exactly the amount that we are eating. Although it may be frustrating that this happens and we want our bodies to maintain a high metabolism, our body is doing this in order to protect us. And the result of this is it affects nearly every system in our body. Your cortisol levels begin to rise and your immune function goes down. Your body doesn't want to use as much energy to keep you warm, so it will shut down normal blood flow to your hands and your feet. A great analogy of this is heating a house. So imagine you had this large house that you wanted to keep warm, but you didn't have enough energy or enough heat to keep the entire house warm. So you would only keep the rooms in your house warm that you were in or that was essential to heat. It's the same thing with your body. Since it is not getting enough energy to keep your whole body warm, it's only gonna keep the parts of your body warm that are essential to keep warm. And it will keep things like your hands and your feet cold as if they were spare rooms in a house. In addition, your body temperature will drop and you'll find that you're drawn to always wearing a sweater or lots of layers and you'll be drawn to having cups of tea a lot and warm drinks. I remember this was the case during my eating disorder. I almost always, always, always had a sweater on or multiple layers on and I was literally constantly drinking hot tea. You're drawn to these things because your body does not want to spend the extra energy to help raise your body temperature, but rather it's gonna look for external sources to keep you warm, such as jackets or hot tea. So this is so your body doesn't have to work hard to keep you at your optimal body temperature. Your body's heart rate will also slow down so that your body doesn't have to use any extra energy on an extra heartbeat at rest. It will also start to slow down your digestion as digestion is another system that requires calories or energy in order to function. It'll also start to diminish your sex drive as having a sex drive and baby making are things that require a lot of calories. Especially the aspect of actually carrying a baby that requires a tremendous amount of calories. So your body wants to discourage you from having sex and becoming pregnant. There's so many times where you hear people who are on 1200 or 1500 calorie diets. Many of you have actually commented saying that you're on 1200 and 1500 calorie diets um, and yet you are not losing weight. And some of you are even starting to gain weight on 1200 calorie diets. This is because your body has lowered your metabolism to exactly the amount that you are eating. But it is also very interesting how every individual is different and every person's body will respond to restriction differently. For example, some girls never lose their period. Even when on these calorie restrictive diets or even those who have developed an eating disorder and have become underweight, some of them will never lose their period. Or for example, some girls will get their period back in the very early days of recovery before they've barely gained any weight at all, and they use this to justify not putting on any more weight. So we really should not use getting our menstrual cycle back as a sign that we are recovered, because some of us can still get our period back even though we're underweight, or even though we're not fully weight restored or fully healed yet. So for the individuals that are eating 1200 and 1500 calories a day, and they're not losing weight, a lot of them are thinking, like, oh my gosh, if I am not losing weight eating this low amount of calories, imagine how little I would have to eat in order to actually lose weight, or imagine what would happen if I actually started listening to my appetite or my hunger again, how much I would gain. A lot of these individuals are feeling just anxious and hopeless because they know that there's no way that they're gonna be able to maintain eating such a low amount of calories for the rest of their life. But what happens when you actually start eating again according to your hunger signals and your appetite? Your metabolism will speed up. As you start eating a sufficient amount of calories again, your metabolism will increase over time and it will rise to match what you are eating in the long term. And sometimes what can happen in eating disorder recovery is your metabolism will go crazy and it will go into this hypermetabolic state where you can eat literally thousands and thousands and thousands of calories a day and yet you can't put on any weight at all. And this is actually what happened to me in the first week or so in recovery. 
I went into a hyper metabolic state and I was literally eating 10,000 calories a day yet my body was not putting on any weight and I felt like a complete bottomless pit. But you have to know that in the long term, your body knows what it's doing and you ultimately just have to get out of your body's way. Some people will experience an overshoot in their previous weight, which I will be doing a video on very soon and explain why some people experience this overshoot in their weight. But over time, as you continue listening to your body and just living an overall healthy, happy lifestyle, your body will go back down to its set point. So your metabolism is not broken, it is not damaged. You really just have to give it time and patience, except that there will be a healing period to go through and be kind to yourself. So that's all that I wanna say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave your comments and questions in the comments down below. If you guys would like more one-on-one -on -one support with me, I do have a private support group offered through my Patreon. I will leave a link in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Until next time, peace out, guys. Bye. Everywhere I go, I'm plant-based, dripping, got them the new Bruce Lee, Roy, I got the glow, kicking knowledge to your chick, I let her swim until she's so...